Hey, it's Alyssa. Happy holidays. Um, wow, uh, what a, not a great way to start holidays with all these terror attacks um, around the world. Um, prayers to the people in Germany. Um, I just want to get quickly to the point that right now the UN is voting on whether Israel should stop the building of settlements. And lovely um, President Obama, um, for some reason, everyone gets the feeling that he is not going to veto it. Um, this is not great for the relationships between Israel and America. We will hope for the best, because that's all we can do, really. Um, I think it's very strange also that this big decision is happening actually as we celebrate Shabbat. So it's a holy day, holy evening, until sunset on tomorrow, Saturday. So I think that's a little bizarre. It's weird timing. And when things have timing like that, they seem to have interesting results. Another comment. I heard a news commentator make a comment that this was not religious at all, this attack. Even though it was a Christmas market in Germany, this was not considered religious at all. I'm a little confused. Every single attack that happens in Israel, people consider it religious. This was a Christmas market. Go figure. I would say it's either massive denial, but that's really, I mean, yes, it's obviously against the free world, and it is somewhat religious. It's a Christmas market. It's a holiday market. Even more interesting, as I really am listening to CNN way too much just because I'm it's it just blows my mind when I hear some of the things that come out of this news outlet so in speaking of all the terror that's been happening probably in the last six months even a year I'd say um, they talked about Khan with the truck and of course what just happened in Berlin and they spoke about Israel and they spoke about all the other places that were being hit so it's interesting when it works for CNN as a scare tactic, as it works to make a broad and strong comment, all of a sudden it's considered a terror attack with the rest of all the other terror attacks. CNN always seems to um, put any terror attack that happens in Israel in its own secluded uh, little topic. It's They call it a militant attack. They rarely ever call it a terror attack. They definitely didn't do that with the fire terror attacks. Um, so that's my comments for now. They're kind of open-ended and take it for what it is um, and have a really happy and healthy holiday. Um, and what can we do but just pray for peace? Shabbat Shalom from Tel Aviv. And Happy Hanukkah. And Merry Christmas.